the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. If you meet any believer at the age of 30 or 28 or 30 something years and have not built anything, he lacked wisdom, number one. You have not built anything. You have not built a house. You have not built your finances. You have not built any career. You have not built any skill that can plunge you into the marketplace and generate revenues. Run from these people. They will, they will kill you. They are, they, are, they are financial dryness. They are void of intellectual wisdom. They are void of understanding on how things work. Will eat up your oil. Get them out. Because you will be given every time like a fool. You give, they will dry it up. They will eat it. They know how to spend that money, but they don't know how to make it. I hate putting my resources in anything that is not productive. You can come and cry. The more you cry, I want to knock you out. Some of you are so moved by sentiments. Too much of sentiment in the body of Christ. The scripture that you have said he that does not walk let him not eat. Pastor John, Pastor John didn't Jesus feed them with bread on their fishes? Remember the condition for which he fed them. He took them, in fact he, he was somewhere away from the city far away from the city and this crowd John needs to meet him there he started preaching from 6 a.m till 6 p.m to almost 5 p.m these people were very hungry the bible says and there were no shops around there was really a bible even when Jesus walked on the water the bible says that he looked at for boats and there was none read in between to get the wisdom. Somebody will not say, oh, Jesus walked on, on, on the water. I'll go on. You, you, you come out, you, you'll die. I'm not kidding. You'll die. Because that's not the excess. You don't have to prove something. And the Bible says that there were no shops around for these people to eat. And then he fed them once. He didn't feed them all the time. Go read your Bible. He fed them only once. If he had fed them twice, then that would have been a doctrine. You must feed people, feed the poor, feed the, feed, feed, feed the hungry. Some have made their church into feeding the hungry. Yet these people are lazy. The principle is if you don't walk, don't eat. So when you perceive somebody has not built anything, he's part of the five foolish virgins. That void, that position of not having anything is a danger to your oil. Don't entangle with such people. In these last days, Proverbs chapter 24 Verse 3. Let's read everybody. Through wisdom is an house builded. And by understanding it is what? Established. By wisdom. 
Foolish virgins don't have houses. Foolish virgins don't have investments. Foolish virgins don't have financial structure. Foolish virgins eat every money they have. They have no savings. They have no financial plan. They have no financial security. Yet they earn money, but they don't know how they use the money. They have no future security financially. They have built nothing. They can't build your marriage. They can't build your home. They can't build your life. They're fools. Cut these devils off. Tell them it is not so. Am I too hard? You gotta tell the tell church folks the truth. By wisdom, when a man has wisdom, he will build a house. By wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. So they have no establishments. So when farmer hits, boom, they're done. They're complaining, God, where are you? God, you said, you promised. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, they start prostituting. They start lying, they start stealing, they start doing all kinds of things. The slightest money a brother gives her, she falls into stupidity. Because she's insecure financially. She has no insurance of her financial status. One sure sign of wisdom is the ability to build, the ability to build something that is significant, something that is advantageous, something that generates revenues, something that improves your life in the material world and, and in, in your financial security. Don't leave the face of this earth without building something. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance not for his first generation, not for his second generation, but his what third generations. So to be more specific, you must at least build a house. A house can be defined as, number one, relating to a firm. You must have a firm, institution, or, or society, something, something tangible, a revenue, a business, a house, something. Something that appreciates either an asset or some kind of business that generates income. Imagine if all believers are financially insured and secured. There will be not keeping to time. There are so many deep things of God I want to share. There's so many ascensions, there's so many wars, so many things that I need to do in, in the realms of the spirit. But the reason why the body of Christ cannot come every day, cannot commit to these things, is because they are not financially free. They have to work. An average human is a liability. The moment you give, you give birth to a child, that child is a liability from day one. May you not continue to have that liability. Because some of them will choose not to grow. They will continue to suck from you. They're acting like fools. Are you what I'm trying to say? A kid that never grows is a liability forever. 
a, 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 a kid that refuses to leave his father's house has become a liability. He calls the father for money every month, calls the father for rental every month. He's a fool. Because human consciousness is a liability of its own. Maintenance of your body, you have to shower, it takes money. You have to brush your teeth, it takes money. You, you have to use soap, it takes money. You, to, to put on clothes, it takes money. I'm talking about the basics. So if you truly want to experience the fullness of God, you should have used wisdom to establish something that would generate income constantly so that while you are seeking the deep things of God, you have multiple streams of revenues. Or forget it. You're going to walk for the rest of your life. By the time you are 80 or 70, you think you have that strength to, to catch up? To, to the things of the Spirit is impossible because it takes long time to assimilate into the, those dimensions. It's not overnight. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the TV teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or bank transfer, bank, First National Bank, FNB, account name, New World Faith Ministries, account number, 622-67035048, branch, Woodstock. Branch code 250655. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. Building project banking details. City of Sons. Bank. First National Bank. FNB. Account name. New World Faith Ministries. Account number 623-569-03578. Branch code 250655. Branch, Woodstock. Swift code, F-I-R-N-Z-A-J-J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link. www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via Payfast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 11700020753. Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus 27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org <laughs>